Hello there and welcome. My name is Mr. Mann and I'd like to introduce you to a fantastic course called GCSE Food Preparation and Nutrition. So what's it all about? Well, it's about instilling a love of cooking that will open the door to one of the greatest expressions of human creativity. What will you be doing? Well, you'll be demonstrating effective and safe high level cooking skills by planning, preparing dishes, using a variety of cooking techniques and equipment. You'll develop a knowledge and understanding of the functional properties and chemical processes, as well as the nutritional content of foods. You will understand the relationship between diet, nutrition and health, including logical effects of different diets on your health. So let me tell you more about Food Preparation and Nutrition GCSE and what it involves and how it all breaks down. So uh, let's look at the subject content. What do you learn? What is going to be covered in this GCSE? Well, quite a lot and quite a big breadth and a lot of cross-curricular links too. So let's start. You've got your food, nutrition and health. So you're going to be cross-curricular links maybe with sports and um, certainly with science there. So we look into the health effects on our bodies, the physiological effects of food on ourselves. Then you've got the food science. So we're going to go into a lot of cross-curricular links with uh, chemistry with this one rather than uh, biology previously. So we're going to be looking at the chemical and functional properties of food for you. Um, we've got food safety. So we're going to go into quite a lot. We're going to go right into the microbiological aspect of food as we start to look at food safety and what's involved in food safety. Um, food choice. OK, so why do people choose the food that they uh, they have? Why do people eat the food that they they do? What makes them do that? What is involved in food choice? So there's quite a big breadth there. And that also touches on aspects of uh, religious education as we start looking at why people eat the food they do because of different religions as well. And then you've got food provenance. So we're looking at uh, where food comes from, where is it going to come from in the future? What affects um, the food um, that we eat? So the whole breadth of what's going on at the moment with our food? How How's that going to change? What's going to be the future of food? So really exciting when we start looking at that aspect of the course. Now, how do we assess it? Well, you've got your traditional written paper that makes up 50% and I'll talk to you a bit more how that breaks down in a minute. But then you've got the other 50% which is broken down into what we call a non-examination assessment or NEA. Um, so what does that mean? Well, that's that's a practical uh, element. That's the 50% that's the which is practical and that's split between um, a 15% which is a food investigation task and then you've got a 35% which is is um, the actual food practical making task um, and I guess that's be traditionally what you think of with uh, food GCC so that's making a few dishes in a few hours and I'll say I'll tell you a little bit more about that one in a minute okay let's start with the written paper so how does a written paper break down well um, of the written paper it's a one hour 45 minute paper um, 100 marks and as we said before it's worth 50% of your GCSE there um, so what does that broken down? Well, um, for AQA, that means uh, multi-choice questions um, uh, worth 20 marks. And you've got five questions which are worth 80 marks. So they're like your longer questions in your exam paper. And that's going to cover all the theoretical knowledge that we talked about earlier on in the shop subject content side of things. OK, so let's come to the practical parts. The first practical part worth 15% okay and this is your food investigations it's like a food science investigation um, you are going to uh, show your understanding of the chemical functional properties of food and the ingredients that make up those foods so you know why does bread rise um, uh, why do cakes turn out they do, they do why do these foods do this and that and you're going to be doing a full science investigation you have variables you're going to be looking at controls and you're going to be making lots of different types of food so you can work out the perfect way and the perfect ingredients to be making a certain type of food it's really interesting um, then you've got what might be considered the, the uh, traditional uh, non-examination uh, aspect of food. And this is your, your practical exam. Worth 35%, so a big chunk of the GCSE. Uh, and this is where you get to um, plan, prepare, cook and present to a really nice and 
high creative level um, raw food. And you're going to be applying your, your understanding of nutrition throughout the particular task. It could be set a task, quite a, uh, a broad task, which might be about diets or it might be a, about a particular type of traditional way of cooking or, or a particular place maybe. Um, you'll set a task and within that task you then have to prepare, cook and present your dishes. And there'll be three dishes in three hours, um, uh, planning in advance how that's going to be achieved and how it's going to look. And uh, like I say, you can see some images here on the board here of some beautifully presented uh, work from the past. And that's what you'll be doing. You'll be pushing your cooking skills to the next level, to the highest level, to get yourself some really, really nicely presented uh, food to produce to a very high skill level using all sorts of different equipment. Okay, so um, what else is involved in the course? So this course lends itself very much uh, to visitors coming into the course. So we have uh, quite often we have visitors coming into the course. So there are different people that come into schools. So we've got like the Royal Marines, brilliant, uh, coming into the schools as part of a program. There's another program involved with fish where we might be able to get um, chefs coming in and talking to us. Um, so there's some great opportunities for, for people to come into the school and talk to us. Um, and also an opportunity opportunity to, to actually go out as well um, from school. So um, meeting chefs uh, outside schools, seeing uh, practical cooking going on beyond the classroom, uh, which is great, and visits as well. So uh, we, we often do um, a visit um, to, to, to Bristol, um, which is not far, far from us, and you can do trips out, which is going to involve you Oh, we, we visit mosques and temples and um, uh, uh, synagogues and um, we, we, we then get to find out a little bit more information about why people make the choice of foods they do. Um, and again, this is part of what the content is from a theory point of view. So um, some lot great opportunities to, to look at food beyond the classroom, if that makes sense. Um, now, when we talk about going beyond the classroom, uh, let's think about where um, food can t GCSE can take me. Where can this food preparation and nutrition take GCSE take me? Well, uh, we're not just looking at um, chefs. Um, uh, we're, we're looking at, the, say, the food science, so the food science and food science innovation. Uh, we're looking at the nutrition, so uh, nutrition and public health. Um, lots of different ideas, ways forward in the future, whether it's food technology. Lots of different things that you can go on and study beyond school um, uh, at university to do with food uh, and what, what this might help you with in the future. Well, so whether it's a nutritional or science aspect, taking that food to the next level. Um, so what would that lead to from a career point of view? Well, uh, a huge variety of um, careers uh, come from GCSE food preparation and nutrition. And again, we're not just thinking of um, chef here, we're thinking of research, um, we're looking at science, um, whether that's food science, sports science, um, food technologists, um, nutritionalists. Um, but then you've got the other side of the food businesses, like I say, where it's, we, we, we're looking at research, branding, um, uh, product development. Um, lots of these different uh, aspects and lots of the careers um, really come from GCSE. GCSE food preparation and nutrition. The GCSE food preparation can really lend itself to a whole variety of careers um, going forward. And just a few examples on the board here. Well, thank you for listening to me. I hope that explains a little bit more about what GCSE food preparation and nutrition is all about. And we look forward to you joining us on the course. Thank you.